with the gangsters. No one nigga that is shoot you for a tag. Get back, get back. Shot six with the pack. Or you can get two tap and fuck automatically on a block. So like I'm uh the cup suggestion said uh, it was like two scoops for every eight ounces of cold water, but I had ten ounces of um, coffee. I ended up pouring like four scoops in, which is like what, 30, 60, 120 grams of protein. Am I the only one who struggles getting their protein numbers up? You know what I mean? Because this is the first time I've ever supplemented in my life. But anyway. Okay, let's get down to business. Um, I already did the vlog thing. <sighs> My fault. I already did the vlog thing about this camera. Boom. You see it. I already did my vlog thing. You saw me walking around. I didn't take no pictures of it. Um, I don't have anybody to like record me while I take pictures. I'm not like one of these big YouTube guys. Again, I'm relatively new to this area, so you gotta bear that in mind, but I do have comparisons, or I can show you what this camera does, what it can do. It's a nice camera, it's real dope, range finder, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm throwing some B-roll for that, but you know, just check it out. Um, you know, camera's real dope. It's relatively big in comparison to a regular rangefinder. I don't know if anybody's ever like gave a demonstration or a comparison. Hold up. I don't know if anybody's ever gave like a direct comparison to a regular point and shoot camera, but here I just have some little dinky like thrift store pickup I have, right? Just like everything else. Right? Same thing here. Now they look about the same size in my hand, right? <laughs> Not anywhere near the same size. Completely, completely bigger. Uh, but you know the vibes, you know. It's a medium format, point and shoot camera, GA645. Uh, I'm sure if you're watching this video, you've looked into the camera a bit. If not, you know, uh, I'll try and give you a brief introduction. If I'm not mistaken, the shutter speed goes down to about 30 seconds, goes up to one five hundredth of a second. The aperture goes from about four, being the maximum aperture. Hold on, give me a second. Four all the way up to 22. As you can see here, you can see here this Fujion or uh, Fujion, whatever, right? Uh, lens, super sharp. You can look around, other people have done a video like this for this camera. They say it's some of the best, uh, uh, these Fuji lenses are some of the best in the industry. We saw the f-stop was, um, or excuse me, not the f-stop, the millimeter of the lens is 60, which comes out to about 36, um, an actual, uh, I guess in full frame equivalent, which more or less everybody's familiar with. Uh, my thoughts on the camera, if you've seen the Olympus Stylus Epic or the, what is it, the Muju 2, MJI 2, whatever, this is just the medium format version of that. So, um, if you're in the medium format and you want a fun point and shoot camera, I've done portraits of this, uh, with this, uh, full body portraits of course, you know, not the typical portraiture where it's just like the headshot or whatever, but I've done a multitude of stuff. Um, San Francisco protest. Recently, I got these pictures done of my brother. These were shot on Portra 400. Uh, tonality is great. It renders colors relatively similar. It's almost, I, I compare it to the, the color science that Canon has. Uh, although, because it's a range finder, you do need to keep that three feet or that one meter distance. You get 16 shots per roll because it's a six by four by five. Yeah, it's got a pop-up flash. Flash is pretty nice on it. I personally haven't used it, but I've seen a lot of the, the flash photos for it, and I think it's great. As far as the ergonomics go, this camera, uh, the grip is really nice, really strong. Everything's kind of on this little wheel thing here, and that's kind of awkward. Um, in the viewfinder, when you look through it, it's in portrait orientation already, which kind of sucks to some people because it's an adjustment, but you know, I'm sure a lot of us who kind of get into film or photography period that are relatively young 
with mine is because we kind of focus on portraiture um, as it is. It's funny because, well, it's not funny. It's it's kind of, you know, ugly because it's it's a pretty pretentious uh, way of approaching things, kind of going in with portraits or having photos of other people, people having photos of themselves, what have you. Anyway, it's got this little like ring thingy. Um, um, how how you say it? Uh, it's got a little sun guard for it. Hold on. It's on, <laughs> I actually have it mounted on this camera. Boom. Pretty dope, you know. It's a nice little range finder. Um, I think you can pick this up for anywhere, well, I can't say anywhere. Market used is about 800, you know. You can import it from Japan. Uh, you can find some locally here. I know a lot of people know about this camera because of Gunner Stahl. I'll throw that picture up right here. Man took a picture of this camera and then all the like hip hop photographer, creatives and what have you. All the hipsters basically saw him and was like, oh, what kind of camera is that? Um, apparently he shot Playboy's Cardi, uh, Playboy Cardi's like die lit cover on this. I think he could have did a better job. I think he should have chose a better camera, different camera. I know Gunner Stahl, no disrespect to Gunnar Stahl, of course. I know he uses a bunch of pointer shoots and always has used pointer shoots. So, uh, this is just the information I have. I could be wrong, but I don't think I'm wrong. Anyway, um, <clears throat> follow me on Instagram. I do this every video and nobody ever seems to follow me because y'all don't really like me or whatever. Uh, I'm just kidding. Appreciate the subs. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the vibes. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Peace.